Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Match. In the previous video, I showed how to go into your Windows computer, into your web browser, and how to download an ISO of Linux Mint, and how to download Blainer Etcher, and how to copy that ISO onto a thumb drive, and how to make your thumb drive bootable. Now today I'm going to show you how to boot onto the thumb drive. So let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to do is now, of course, this is a virtual machine of Windows 11. And the procedure is going to be the same regardless of whether you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11 on your bare metal computer. So what you're going to do is shut down your computer. That's what we're going to do. We're going to shut down this computer and I'm going to shut down. And of course, this is a virtual machine, but it would be the same thing as if it's a bare metal computer. Okay, so you've shut down your Windows computer. So you're going to take your thumb drive, plug it into the computer, and you're going to push the start button on your box, your computer box, that is. And you have to be pretty fast. So I have uh, Acer's and Dell's, and on my computers, if you want to get into the boot menu, when you're booting up, you have to hit F12. Now, some computers might be F2, they might be Escape, it could be the delete button. But in my computers, like I said, I have Dell and Acer, it's always F12. And you have to be fast, because if you don't do it fast enough, what's going to happen is, you're going to boot back up into your Windows system. And you don't want to do that. You want to boot on to your thumb drive. Okay. Now, I have made some videos with my iPad. Yeah, believe it or not, I have an Apple iPad. When I'm booting from a hard drive onto a thumb drive, I can't film it. Because, well, there's no graphical interface. And, of course, my microphone and my uh, camera are not plugged into that computer. And if I tried to use the computer that my microphone and camera are plugged into, I wouldn't be able to record it, right? So I made a video of it with my iPad, and I'm going to play that video on here, and then I'm going to talk and tell you what I'm doing. And I made actually two videos. So I made a video where I recorded booting onto a thumb drive in a computer with a really old BIOS with a BIOS from 2010 and I also made a video where I recorded booting into a BIOS from 2018 actually from 2019 I think this computer was built in uh, 2019 so a modern BIOS and an old BIOS so I'm going to play those videos and talk and explain what I'm doing okay okay so this is a, a computer where I'm booting into a Dell computer that uh, I'm not sure if it was made in 2018 or 2019. I can't remember now, but it's a modern computer with a modern BIOS. And I apologize for the poor video quality because I was recording this with my iPad. And so the quality is not great and it's a bit shaky. Okay. So let's play the video. And it's booting up, you can see. And you can see here it's a Dell. And you can see here it's a Dell. Okay, now let's stop the video. Now, to get to the screen, I pressed F12. And no, actually, <laughs> so this is kind of funny. This is a uh, computer that is a dual boot computer. It's a bare metal computer. It's not a virtual machine. It's a dual boot computer. And it has Debian on it. Pure Debian, that is. It has Windows 10 on it, and you can also see my uh, USB thumb drive. So, if you look here, this is my Debian partition. This is my Windows 10 partition. It's called Windows 10 Boot Manager, right? This is Debian. This is Windows 10 Boot Manager, and this is my thumb drive. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use my arrows my up and down arrows to go down 
and I'm going to select this UEFI Kingston thumb drive because that's what this is. This is the thumb drive with a live ISO on it. Okay, so now I'm going to play the video again. See, now I'm using my arrows to go down and I can go. I'm just showing you here how I can go up and down. Okay, and I'm going to select the UEFI Kingston thumb drive. Now I'm going to pause here. Now, this is not the thumb drive that I made in my other video. <laughs> and this is kind of a side issue. This is a thumb drive that has a special application on it called Ventoid. And with Ventoid, you can make a bootable thumb drive and you can put lots of uh, ISOs on it. You can put, and you can see here in this thumb drive, I have all these ISOs. I have Antex, Arch Linux, Debian, Endeavor, Linux Mint, Linux Mint Debian version, MX Linux, and I even have Windows 10. I don't know if you can see that down here. I have a Windows 10 ISO on here. So the Ventoid, instead of putting one ISO on a thumb drive and making it bootable, with Ventoid, you can make your thumb drive bootable and you can put lots of ISOs on there. But this is a real side issue. The only reason why I played this video is I wanted to show you how I'm booting into a modern computer with a modern BIOS. And then you select the one that you want, and then you boot into the live ISO on your thumb drive. Okay? And you know what? I wasn't going to use this video, but I'm going to use it anyways. And I'm going to boot into, I'm going to show you how I boot into a live ISO from this one. And then I'm going to show you how I boot into the boot manager of an old computer with an old BIOS and how I boot onto a thumb drive in, with Linux Mint. Okay, so I'm using my arrows to go up and down. Okay, and I don't know if you can hear my cat crying. I have two cats and one of my cats is crying. She's playing with her toy. Whenever she plays with a toy, she cries. And uh, so you can see I'm booting into... Uh, Linux Mint. Okay. And Linux Mint came up. And I'm booting into it. And there we are. You can see the Linux Mint uh, sign. And there we are. We booted on to the Linux Mint thumb drive in a hard bare metal computer. So in this video here, I've gone into the actual boot menu settings. So you use your arrows to maneuver around and work in the settings because you might have to change the settings. And if it's a modern computer, the BIOS settings menu is going to look different than this. But you might have to turn off secure boot because uh, some modern computers have secure boot on and it won't let you boot off a thumb drive. And you also might have to go into the settings and make it possible for you to boot onto a thumb drive because sometimes the settings are turned off and it won't let you boot onto a thumb drive. So you might have to go into, when you're booting into your system, you might have to hit F12 or one of your other buttons, escape, F1, F2, delete, one of your other buttons and get into the boot menu settings if you're having trouble Booting onto the live thumb drive, you might have to uh, get into the boot menu settings and change things. And if you do have to change your settings, and of course you're going to have to maneuver around in there and figure out what menu you have to get into and where the setting is that you have to change. And you only have to go into the boot menu settings if you're having trouble booting onto the live thumb drive. Okay? And once you change the settings, you're going to go to use your arrows to go down to save and exit setup. And you're going to save it. Okay. Now in this video, I'm booting onto my Acer, my old Acer with a thumb drive. So I'm not going into the BIOS settings menu to change the settings. Because this time I'm able to boot into my thumb drive with no problem. So you only have to go into the BIOS settings if you're having trouble booting onto the thumb drive. If you're not having trouble booting onto the thumb drive, 
then you don't have to go into the bio settings so in this video i hit f12 and i'm booting directly onto the thumb drive this menu came up so like i said if this menu came up or something similar to this then you don't have to go into the bio settings to change your settings so the menu came up so you can see this first one is my hard drive and the second one is my USB thumb drive with Linux Mint on it. So, and I'm going to use my arrows to go up and down and to select one that I want. Okay, so let's play the video. And sorry for the <laughs> moving around. And you see, I, I'm using my arrows to move back and forth, up and down. And I hit the USB one and I hit enter. Now you can see it's booting onto Linux Mint and there's four options there and you can use your arrows to go up and down to select the options and then hit enter but go with the first option and if you go with the first option and you can see i'm using my arrows to go up and down if you go with the first option it's going to boot onto the thumb drive and a live version of linux mint and you're going to be able to play with it or install it now if you notice this is an older version of linux mint because this particular video i made over a year ago and the reason why I'm kind of reusing it and recycling it is, and there we go, we're booting on to Linux Mint. And because I recorded this with my iPad, it's a hassle because I don't have a stand for my iPad and it's kind of shaky. And when I record a video with my iPad, it's really hard to get it into my Linux computer so I can show you. So I'm recycling an old video and that I'm just telling you that in case you noticed that this is an older version of Linux Mint. Okay. So we're booting on to the live version of Linux, and there we are. We are on the live version of Linux Mint. So this is what it's going to look like when you boot onto it, and you're going to be able to play with it, experiment with it, and if you want, you can click on this icon right here, and it's going to start the install procedure. And it's going to give the option whether you want to install it alongside your Windows, to have like a dual boot. So it's gonna ask you if you wanna partition your disk and have a dual boot with Linux and Windows, or it's gonna ask you if you wanna wipe out your whole hard drive, erase Windows and put Linux in, okay? And if you decide, if you're not sure, what you can do is play with it, experiment with it, and then power down, pull out your thumb drive, and there's gonna be no harm done. Your windows will still be there and you'll still be able to boot into your windows. Okay. And that's it. In this video, I showed you how to boot onto a live ISO of Linux Mint from your thumb drive in a real bare metal computer. And I showed you how to do it in with a modern computer from, I think it was 2019. It was built. And from an old computer where the BIOS is from 2010. And I showed you both. And I showed you how to get into the BIOS settings and what the BIOS settings look like in case you have to change the settings. And I showed you how to go into the boot menu and how to boot onto Linux Mint from your thumb drive. Okay. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you in a virtual machine how to play with and experiment with a live version of Linux Mint without erasing your Windows installation. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.